With that, we want to bring in Mike Pompeo, former Secretary of State and CIA Director and a Fox News contributor. Secretary, good to have you with us as always. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, you've been watching this along with us. Uh, what would you like to say about what John Kirby just said and what you're hearing in there? Well, he got some things right and some things not quite right. He was right. The, the strike on Zawahiri was important. He was a bad guy. Uh, it's a kudos to the intelligence community during my time and uh, now after a lot of work done to get him and take him off the battlefield. It is a righteous strike against a horrible man who killed lots of Americans. Uh, second, it's good that we demonstrated we could conduct a strike without uh, troops on the ground. That's good stuff. But the overstatement is that we still have the depth and capacity of intelligence that we had before we left. And that's, that's certainly not the case in the way that we uh, rolled out of there. Uh, second, uh, with respect to the Taliban, um, I, I was in the middle of the discussions with the Taliban. We, we never trusted them. Uh, they continued to violate the agreement when we were in office. And for that reason, we never got everybody out. We knew that they weren't honoring the commitments that they'd made under the Doha agreement. And so we didn't do what President Biden chose to do. Um, they knew, this administration knew that they were violating the agreements and chose to leave. And the risk is therefore heightened. So President Biden has said, you know, that it, Afghanistan will never be a safe haven for terror that he will not allow that to happen. Does he have the ability to do that, given our lack of footprint there and even, you know, understanding and respecting the uh, over-the-horizon strength that we did see demonstrated here? Boy, it's difficult to do anywhere, to make such a blanket statement and say you're not going to let someplace be a, a haven. Uh, the question is always about how much resource and how much risk can you take down, and there's, there's no doubt because the Taliban have failed to live up to the commitments that they made, uh, the risk is greater today than it was a year ago when we had the debacle of the departure from Afghanistan. I don't think there's any doubt about that there's more risk there today, Martha. Yeah. He, he said if the Taliban wants in a relationship, uh, they should look at what we did. I'm not, I'm not sure that there's room there for a relationship uh, yeah. anymore <laughs> at this point, but we'll see yeah. what they do the, there. Uh, I, I want to The ask next you, big uh, push will be about money, Martha. They're going to need a bunch of money, absolutely. and we should make sure we don't give them a nickel. Yeah, well, uh, we've seen those kind of exchanges in the past, um, and we'll see what they decide to do here. I want to ask you about the large picture in terms of China. You look at this as, you know, former CIA director, former secretary of state. What's the impact of this Pelosi trip, and what do you read into the reaction to it? Does it move us, or does it move Taiwan closer to a more dangerous situation? And do you think that China is, is planning an invasion? Martha, I don't think there's any doubt that Xi Jinping is intent on taking Taiwan. Uh, he calls it reunification. We know that it is the destruction and the violation of the sovereignty of an independent nation. Uh, even Kirby used the language says we still need to defend Taiwan, even though he went wobbly when he talked about the, the history there. Uh, the, the Chinese are a bit tiresome on this, Martha, I'll be honest with you. They overreact to silly things like a visit from a parliamentarian from a free nation and threaten all kinds of silly stuff. We, we shouldn't be on defense here. We're doing the right thing. Uh, Speaker Pelosi did the right thing by traveling there after we were threatened, uh, not letting the Chinese Communist Party bully us. Uh, I think Xi Jinping's plans didn't change one iota because of Speaker Pelosi's visit. I think his plans remain the same. He may use this as a pretext to, to mess around for a while. W what we can't do is be on defense. We have to take a series of actions that demonstrate real American resolve. And if we do those things, we can push back against the CCP's threats, not only on Taiwan, mm. but here in our homeland as well. Just have 20 seconds, but I thought it was interesting. John Kirby said, we will continue to manage what Beijing decides to do. Roughly, that, that's not verbatim, but roughly. Yeah, that's backwards. It should be the Chinese Communist Party that fears what America will do, that it fears American strength, economic power from the United States of America, something that can put the Chinese Communist Party at enormous risk. We should support the Chinese people. We should pressure the Chinese Communist Party, and we can convince them not to behave in the very ways we've seen them behave these last handful of days, Martha. Secretary Pompeo, always good to have you with us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Martha. Have a great afternoon. Yes, ma'am. You too. Good to see you. And good to have all of you with us. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.